Hello everyone, this is Juan Bloisi with Washington Interpreters. I will show you what Wolfsy leaders are doing with Sosi and you're gonna be shocked. Do you remember how Wolfsy leaders used to hate independent interpreters being able to build directly with LNI? Do you remember this image where they said right here that direct builders or independent interpreters were responsible for monopolizing the industry alongside agency owners? So they called the distribution of appointments unfair back then because they said people billing directly were corrupt with no exceptions. That's crazy. Now, they're also saying, or they said back then, that the scheduling system was supposed to end all of that corruption, right? Now look at this. They even had Milena, a Wolfsey leader, asking LNI for records about any interpreter who was investigated or had a complaint against them with LNI. They were always looking for dirt in order to accuse and alienate interpreters, the people they were trying to represent. I mean, who does that, right? Now, fast forward to present time, 2024, this year. We now have SOCI as the company. Do you remember this image here, the LNI policies for interpreters? I showed you the preferred interpreter policy to show you how medical providers can only request a preferred interpreter for pain management and brain injury and crime victim appointments in my last video, right? I also showed you this image that you see right here, and I want you to pay attention, please, to this. This image was from an email sent to me from an anonymous source, okay? It clearly shows an interpreter calling Sosi to reject a job and then asking to be assigned to another job, clearly violating the preferred interpreter policy. As you can see again in this image at the top, it says, hello, 19092 has been removed and 22923 has been assigned. Now, I want you to know something. I didn't show you the interpreter's name because I thought, you know, anybody could make a mistake, right? I mean, it's the first time using the system. Maybe they are a new interpreter. They have uh, no idea how, how the rules are, how the system works, especially if they didn't know about this system before. So I didn't want to expose anybody. I didn't want to cause problems for anybody if they made an honest mistake. However, after doing some digging, look at this. I had to expose this interpreter. What you see here is the name of the interpreter gaming the system and the preferred interpreter policy. Oh yeah, the interpreter's name is Raquel Inchausti. She called Sosi to be assigned as a preferred interpreter and Sosi complied. You can read it yourself there. The issue is, ladies and gentlemen, watching this video, that this interpreter is, as you can see on the screen, a Wolfsy leader. What? She's very proud of being a Spanish interpreter, and she's a policy delegate from Local 1671 for the 2023-24 year. That's right. This Wolfsy leader is gaming the system knowing what they're doing because they know the rules. And if you have any doubts whatsoever as to the identity of this interpreter, once again, here is an image from the local 1671 website, okay? As you can see here, this Raquel Inchausti interpreter is a member of the Wolfsey Public Service Policy Committee. Wow, there you have it and she's serving from November 2023 until October 2025. I mean, this is unbelievable, okay? All this talk about alienating interpreters, independent interpreters, and then trashing agency owners all these years, okay? But their leaders are gaming the system with SOCI and their scheduling system? So this is why they defend SOCI so much. Okay, this is why they wanted Interpreting Works out, because as far as I'm concerned, and as I recall, this wasn't happening back when Interpreting Works was there. I mean, guys, this is crazy. 
Now you have WOFC leaders creating monopolies of their own, okay, abusing the preferred interpreter feature, stealing jobs from you, asking to be assigned jobs that were assigned to other interpreters. I mean, the hypocrisy of these people has no limits. Yeah, rules for thee, but not for me. This is what they do in secret, okay? However, keep in mind that this is only one example that I was able to get from an anonymous source. Who knows how many of these elite WOFC leaders are gaming the system because, make no mistake, regular members are not doing this, okay? This was kept a secret for a reason. These are the very elite WOFC leaders who would have these positions doing this, all right? A member of the WOFC Public Service Policy Committee. What a shame. You know, but this is the real WOFC, guys. This is the union you voted for, okay? And this is what your leaders are doing to you. What are you going to do about it? Is I going to investigate any of this? Because this is what WOFC leaders do in the end. They're masters of propaganda like Joseph Goebbels here. Read it. The Nazi propaganda minister. He says, quote, Accuse the other side of that which you are guilty. End quote. And that's the WOFC way. Unbelievable. And don't think for a second that Wolfsey didn't know about this, okay? They knew because they even complained to LNI about people gaming the system when they knew their own leaders were doing so. Are you going to let them lie to you like that, thinking you're stupid? Huh? Again, these are the reasons why you should consider signing this petition and sharing it with everyone you know. We need to restore timely payments for interpreters. However, because this petition also demands that I bring back interpreting works instead of SOCI. That way, these leaders would not be gaming the system like they're doing now. But guys, I'm almost at the end of my rope here, okay? I'm tired of having to expose these liars. I have nothing against any of them personally. I'm just exposing the facts, you know? You can't say that I'm not giving you evidence, all right? It's not an opinion. You have all the evidence there. It's amazing that so many of you let these liars brainwash you. It's unbelievable. You know, because they'll keep gaslighting you and laughing all the way to the bank, okay? Like this Wolfsey leader right here who made half a million dollars in one year from your union dues. Yes, these people are masters of propaganda and manipulation all to keep their hefty salaries. Click on the link in the description below to opt out of Wolfsey right now. See you in the next one.